John and Jacqueline, after the dogs were seized Monday, I was invited to come into the business and take a look for myself. This is how it looks inside Dakota's doggy den. Aside from the occasional furball on her property, it appears maintained and people seem to like it. The Google reviews are really positive. This is my life. I love them like they're my own. And I just want everyone to know that I, they were in great condition here. But Kim Christman, the business's owner, will no longer be allowed to run any animal-related business from this doggy-decorated home. This after Henderson animal control officials revoked her permit. Animal control always told me that since I'm grandfathered in and there's a gray area there, as long as my dogs are happy and healthy and there's I pass inspection and no one has complaints, then there's no number. A total of 51 dogs were there when animal control arrived yesterday. Why so many dogs? She says she thought she was following the rules laid out for her. She says back in 2009, when they made the code on maximum number of pets stricter to a grand total of six, she was told she'd be grandfathered in to previous rules, which she says allowed for any number of dogs permitted to stay overnight. Until recently, during an inspection, officers told her she'd need to get new approval from a zoning board to stay grandfathered in. I had till July 26 to get the zoning board's ruling. and. I asked them if that affected my business in any way up until then, and they said no. The next day, Monday, yesterday, they came and knocked on my door. So a couple dozen dogs ended up at this shelter Monday night. We also spoke with a woman who came to pick up her friend's dog for her from the Henderson shelter while she was away. She reached out to me yesterday and she was like, hey, like an emergency happened with um, the dog sitter that my dog was at and uh, do you think you can go to the shelter and, and pick him up? So obviously I called her and I'm like, what do you mean the shelter? Like, how, how does that happen? She says the dog seems to be in good health and she also found the news surprising. She added that a lot she knows a lot of people really trust Dakota's doggy den. And of course, the city felt that 50 dogs was simply too many dogs for a home of this size. Now, I spoke with Chrisman, as you saw there, and she says that business had been booming due to the pent up demand after the pandemic. She says a lot of people are now vacationing, uh, but it was a tough 16 months in the past during the past pandemic year because nobody was really vacationing. So that made it hard for her to to say no to customers for fear of losing them as clients, is what she said. Reporting live, I'm Maddie White, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.